Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Toyota Avensis T2050. Almost all cars are front-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive, too, cannot be afraid, everything is like a graphic, but they are extremely rare. In addition, these are exclusively sedans with not too powerful engines. At the same time, the Avensis is one of the few cars that have more problems with manual transmission than with automatic transmissions. Avensis has one interesting feature. In all cars, with stock motors, the drives rarely break down. Sometimes the CV joint fail occasionally cuts off the splines of the drives. But so that the stick of the drive itself breaks in half. This happens only with Toyota. The reason lies in the corrosion of the part under the load pad. Corrosion wears away an already lightweight shaft, and when driving over irregularities with traction or slipping, this shaft breaks. Fortunately, contract parts with Toyota Wish in the back of the ZNE 10G will help out. Felder 123 will also work. It is inexpensive and the condition of the part is usually excellent. It is worth buying the original one only new. All used ones are more or less affected by corrosion. The same details will come in handy in case of failure of the original CV joints, which are also quite flimsy here. As I said, there were enough problems with the manual transmission. Basically, the bearing of the secondary shaft is supplied with the number 9093, 63 or 10. More precisely, its ancestor 90080 36139. But there are also difficulties with oil leaks through the shaft seals. Unfortunately, if you do not go to the service at the first suspicious noises, there will be nothing to repair. The remnants of the dead bearing will sail around the box, disabling the rest of the bearings, gears and finally the differential. From which machines the boxes are suitable, you can guess if you read the paragraph about drives and CV joints. The original ones with Avances are, are again quite scarce. In principle, the price of repairs will not be too high anyway. That contract boxes that small repairs are inexpensive in the range of 15-40,000 rubles would work. But this is already a bit too much for a problem for a reliable brand, isn't it? If you do not want difficulties, then you can take a car with automatic transmission. With a little care, there will be no problems, especially since the oil is changed quite often according to the regulations, the box have a good cooling system and a conservative settings. U341E mainly works with 1.8 liter engines, and a stronger U140 U241E is used with the 2 liter engines. But engines with a volume of 2.4 liters rely on a 5 speed automatic transmission of the U151E series. All automatic transmissions are considered almost forever. In any case, they are more reliable than motors are, and with normal maintenance, will go far beyond 300,000 km. They have little wear out of the blocking linings of the gas turbine engine, they have good and strong mechanics. But unfortunately, everything can be broken. For stage U140, U241, the boxes are strong, they can withstand motors up to 3 liters of working volume. 2 liters for them is not a problem at all. But the front planetary gear set, due to the peculiarities of the lubrication system, always fails before the rest of the elements, especially if the driver didn't spare the box and the engine. From purely resource problems, you can find wear on the rear cover, which also depends on loads and driving style, but also doesn't forgive contaminated oil. After the rear cover is worn out, the pressure leak finishes off the direct clutch pack and the seat of its drum. And of course, the boxes operated with dirty oil usually fail the oil pump bushing or the oil pump itself. Much more often, the first bell manifests itself in the form of failures in the weld body. Its problems indirectly related to the wear of the gearbox mechan mechanics and oil contamination. Usually, the main problem is fooling and erosion of the solenoid channels. For their repair, there are restoration kits from Zonex, but more often than not, used weld bodies are simply selected. There are still enough parts, and the repair requires a high level of production culture, as a result of which not all workshops can do it. The U34 1E boxes are the same miniature U140. They have exactly the same difficulties with overloading the front planetary gear and with the rear cover, but the valve body is somewhat more reliable and is less hassle. Just check the purity of the oil and listen at low speeds to see if there is a trolley bus sound in the first or second gears. The blocking pads for the gas turbine engine wear out quickly enough here, especially with an aggressive driving style. Already after 150,000 mileage, it is necessary to very carefully monitor the oil contamination in order to prevent them from triggering to the adhesive layer. The forward clutch package is significantly overloaded and very sensitive to pressure losses. And they happen for the same reasons as in the four-stage counterparts. 
mainly due to the wear of the rear cover and the seals of the forward package drum. Destruction of the cover needle bearing is much more common, but planetary gears are loaded more evenly and problems with them occur less often. The well body was also found to be more sensitive to dirt and more expensive to rebuild than four-speed transmissions. The box requires more careful maintenance, but better withstands the increased loads from the riders. It is much more expensive to repair, but the maximum resource of the mechanism is still high. It, it is just that the conditions for achieving it are not necessarily stricter. Change the oil more often, preferably every 30,000 km, and keep it clean. A large external radiator and an external box filter would also come in handy here, as one of the 5-speed icing boxes. Toyota engines are considered among the most reliable. True, a lot of tails are associated with the 1ZZ series motors as well as the with the D4 direct injection. And not all of these stories are lies. To the company's credit, it must be said that in any case the layout solutions and workmanship are very high, and other brands have a lot to learn. But there is no legendary reliability here. Moreover, catalyst, exhaust supports, cooling system and even wiring are already entering the time of weathering, complicating and shortening the life of motors. The most common Avensis engine is the 1.8-liter 1ZZ FE series. A lot of swear words have been said about it. Now it is obvious that the real problems of the engine are in the unsuccessful piston group until 2005, a small resource of the timing chain, the lack of repair dimensions and the absence of full valve seats in the cylinder head. The lightweight cylinder block also turned out to be very sensitive to overheating, which even caused serious condemnation of the open deck design in general among Toyota drivers. The situation is noticeably improved by a reliable control system, inexpensive spare parts and its prevalence. In addition, there are cast iron sleeves, which are damaged only during prolonged work with fixed rings. In extreme cases, the sleeves is cut out and the motor sleeve is reinserted. True, the fragile structure of the block makes this operation quite difficult. Having bought a killed unit, you will find out that there are no repair dimensions, and if there are cracks on the valves and their seats are killed, then you will be offered to immediately change the cylinder head. There are no classic cast iron seats. The valve seals are weak, and the increased cylinder head temperature reduces their service life to 4 to 5 years. But the chain is relatively inexpensive and easy to replace only slightly more expensive than replacing the belt. The main complaint about the motor is a tendency to oil appetite, and in general it is not as reliable as expected from it. This is sarcasm. But as they say, there are your expectations and your problems. For many owners, these motors have traveled 250-350,000 km without major repairs, which means that the potential of the motor is not bad. With the new or modified piston group, some owners simply drill holes to drain the oil from the oil scrapper ring or change it to a wider set. After careful assembly and with the catalyst replaced in time, the engine can go another couple of hundred thousand kilometers. But for this, you will have to service it in time and prevent overheating of the oil in the crankcase by installing protections and prolonged idling with the air conditioner on. In extreme cases, you can buy a contract unit very cheaply, pretty much the price of metal. On the Avances T250, you can find instances of a motor with pistons of the problematic series 13, 10, 1, 22, 0, 31, with a moderate oil appetite, which at a slice overheating or an unsuccessful choice of oil strives to develop into a serious one. But it's also not worth counting on a complete absence of problems in more recent engines. The problem was complex, and the manufacturer tried to solve it until the end of the production of this series of engines in 12, 13. The small-sized versions of this 1.6-liter 3ZZ FE series engine inherit mainly the positive qualities of the 1.8-liter engine. The oil appetite is much less pronounced and manifests itself mainly after runs over 250,000. The cylinder head works more reliably and even the chain runs longer. But there are cars with this engine extremely rarely and in very simple trim levels. European cars relied on a motor not only with conventional distributed injection, but also with direct injection 1EZ FSE. Its fuel equipment is distinguished by a noticeably higher price, increased diagnostic complexity and frankly poor starting qualities in winter. In addition, these engines, when operated in short trips and in winter, noticeably increase the output of the cylinder in the upper part due to the increase of a large amount of gasoline. The early series of engines, up to the restyling of 2006, are very prone to pulling out, 
the spirits of the cylinder head bolts from the block, therefore the craftsmen are extremely reluctant to repair them. And if the antifreeze has already flowed and the engine has overheated, then the block will most likely have, been to, be, have to be replaced. In principle, the engines of this series do not have unsolvable problems, especially if the injection is conventionally distributed and, if desired, even the cylinder block can be repaired, but you need to be aware of these features when buying. In addition, engines have two catalysts and four lambdas. They are prone to increased carbon formation in the intake manifold. And FCE versions suffer from very serious suit on the valves. The repair dimensions of the piston group are also missing. In short, 1AZ engines after 2006 are indeed quite Toyota in terms of reliability, but only with conventional injection. Otherwise, you need to be prepared for surprises. Motors of the 2AZ FE and 2AZ FSE series repeat 1AZ, but there are no problems with the thread of the cylinder block, but balance shafts have been added. The piston group resource is on average a little higher, and in general this is the most reliable engine of the FE version on the Avances, but it is also the rarest. Diesel engines are rare, but there are a lot of problems with them. This is clearly not Toyota's fault. Leave them to European users. This completes the information about the problems of the Toyota Avances T2050. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.